I was born in Columbus. I was raised here. This was home. Both of my parents worked and both of my parents loved me. We had a nice, quiet life in the suburbs. My parents were both active in the church, and it wasn't long until I was wanting to play in the worship band. In 2000, my mom got sick. None of the doctors could figure out what was wrong. Appointment after appointment, and the doctors were scratching their heads. Meanwhile, my family was drowning in medical bills. My father stepped up and started working more and more, taking on side jobs, fixing cars, fixing people's homes. So when I went to him and asked him for a guitar, you could physically see the struggle play across my dad's face. He would have to work more hours, spend more time away from his family. What if he did all this work and spent all this time away from us just for me to give up on it after a few months? At 15, I got my guitar. Going down to the tree on that Christmas day was a feeling I will never forget. Finally, I had an outlet. I had a way to express myself. That guitar was my escape from the troubles that surrounded my family. At 16, I had a band in a basement. We were young and full of excitement, and the possibilities were endless. My senior year of high school, my mom had brain surgery. My friends were out playing Battle of the Bands, and I dropped out of school and started painting houses. Then, in 2008, the housing market collapsed. I had nowhere to go. There was no place for me. I joined the army. A year later, I was in Iraq. My mom was still sick, my dad was still working 70 hours a week, and I was still playing my guitar. I had a good career in the army, but I'm home now. I know the pain of having to work to pay bills. I know the pain of watching my friends go and record, and I know the feeling of being voiceless, incapable of changing my fate. October 10th, 2018, my baby sister was diagnosed with leukemia. The next day, my son was born. Life is short. Life is fragile. Life is fleeting. Life is beautiful. A year after my sister's diagnosis, she is now cancer-free. My mother is able to come over and spend several days a week with my son. There are big blessings in my life. I want to roll those blessings forward. Studio Low Charity is designed to give others the opportunities I missed to provide others with a chance to express themselves, to give a voice to the voiceless, regardless of income. Through our usage of partners, we are able to get others into studios. You shouldn't have to win a talent show to get recorded. I need your help. Your donations go to help others achieve their dreams. Your donations go to help others find light in a dark world. Your donations go to help others find their voice. When you donate to Studiolo, you're not just donating money. You're investing in your community. You're investing in expression. You're investing in life.